What's the biggest mistake people make when writing a novel? It's editing. They don't edit enough. They write their book, they think it's amazing and they send it out and then they get a bunch of rejection letters back, right? Or no letters back. You, nowadays they don't send you anything back. It's just like, sorry, you, you, you've disappeared into the ether. So what's happening here? You've, you've written your book. How many drafts have you done? Now I don't mean complete rewrites. I just mean getting in there, checking every element, going through it with a fine tooth comb. What is my character development like? What is the setting and location like? Has the world really come to life? Is the plot of the story intriguing? Is it different? Have we heard it before? Is it compelling? And does it do justice to the genre that I'm writing? So if you're writing a thriller, it better be thrilling. And it better be thrilling in a way we haven't experienced before in fiction. If you're writing a romance, it better be romantic. A lot of writers don't sit down and work just that little bit harder to just push it through a little bit more to make it the best book it could be. So you should have done at least four to five drafts on your book. And you should have gone through it a million times before it's ready to go out into the world. And you should have had a few people read it and give you feedback. And if you've noticed that several of those people said the exact same thing that they think might be an issue with your book, it probably is. Now, it's very hard writing a book because we're sensitive people, writers are sensitive people, and our egos often can't handle when people tell us that something's not great in our book. And that's a very hard thing to grapple with. So you need to take in the information and just sit with it for a little bit and try and sort of detach a little bit from your personality and go, if I was an editor, if I was an agent, would I think the same thing about this book? Is this problem a real problem that I need to fix? Or is it just their opinion? Because sometimes it is, right? So you have to detach a little bit, really look at it with clear eyes and fix up anything. If you suspect there's something wrong with your book that's kind of not so great, it's not so great. If you have an inkling it's not so great, it isn't. Trust yourself and get in there, fix it. How do you fix it? You go through and you make slow little changes on each thing. So if you think the, the lead character needs um, more development, just go through and edit just for that lead character the whole way through the book and start developing it more, layering it more, telling us more about that character, giving us more backstory, showing us how they act more, how they move, what they look like. Writing is a lot of work and editing is the majority of it. Editing is where your book comes to life. Now the other thing people do, the big mistake they make, is they say, well, this, this is all based on a real story. This really happened to me. So that's how I'm writing it. Look, sometimes that works, but often real life isn't that interesting. We read books because they're made up, because they're interesting stories that are made up. Sometimes real life stories are fascinating, but there's a reason we like fiction because made up stories are, are incredible. Writers come up with the most amazing, interesting plot twists and turns. Don't make the mistake of thinking because this happened in real life, it's interesting enough to turn into a book. It might not be. It's kind of like that thing where people say, oh, I had a dream last night and this happened and this happened and this happened. Well, because it's a dream, we're not that interested, right? So you've got to make sure there's a reason we're telling this story. It's all mapped out with a message. The characters have growth. All these elements are really important in telling a compelling story. And sometimes real life doesn't have those elements. So I want you to really edit your books and I want you to make sure that your story is compelling and intriguing, even if it's loosely based on real life.